Today is February 20th. Another gorgeous day out here. I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but it's beautiful out. Look at that sunshine. I got this gas tank from a truck that I scrapped a little while ago. And I need that uh, sender out of the top there. I'm not sure if that's the reason why this one over here won't start but with the new wire harness in it but this is the tank that came out of the truck that where the rest of the harness came from I can take that out today that'll be my first project today I'm gonna set that tank up on top of my tailgate on my truck here and then see what kind of gas I can get out of it pour it into this pail this is what I get for rising my son yesterday he said he couldn't get my tailgate open and so I said, so where's your muscle? Well, there's his muscle right there. I guess I shouldn't have been such a smart ass and asked him where his muscle was because he showed it, showed me where it was. Guess I gotta get a new one of those. I've got it up on the back of the truck. Just lost the filter in there, it fell, it fell out. Got my filter back. So this thing's been sitting aside for the winter and got most of the rewiring done. And today had better be the day that it runs. Got it all covered up in plastic, keep it nice and dry. So this is the sender that came out of the 89 truck for the with the fuel pump attached to it. Now the only difference between the sender that's in the tank right now and this one is that uh, this one has an extra wire on it. And I know this one worked in the 89, so I'm going to put this pump into the tank and we'll see how everything goes after that. I've got a jack underneath my tank right now just to help me get it down. I don't think there's very much fuel in it, but every little bit helps. Now, why is it when car companies come up with something good, they always end up having to change it? This here gas tank has this bracket here, and then another bracket like it right over here, and there's four bolts that hold this bracket on and four bolts, one there and one up behind there that hold this bracket on. You don't even have to undo the straps to get the tank down. And if the strap does break, your tank is still going to stay up there. I don't know what they're thinking on the new vehicles. I didn't get this on video how I took all this off, but basically take your fuel lines off and your ground wire and your other wire harness and you should be all set. So now I need to get all the dirt off the top just so that I, it doesn't fall in the tank. steady this is going to be. I've got the camera mounted on the tank. Just have to, have to go counterclockwise with that ring and loosen it until it comes out. These slots here, they'll match up with uh, 
tabs that are sticking out here and once once the tabs get to this open spot then the ring will come loose. Okay, blow it off one more time. Careful. to get that float out you gotta work that float out so the next thing I'm gonna do is compare the one that was in the tank and the one that came out of the 89 first of all looks like the 89 one went in a lot deeper into the tank what I've done here is I've lined up the two ends the top where it go, where it sits on the tank, it'll give me an idea of how much longer the one is than the other. I'm going to go from bottom of the fuel pump to the bottom of the fuel pump without the filter. And you're looking at two and three eighths inches difference. have to find a spot somewhere on there where I can make up two and three eighths inches. This one would be easy right in this section but uh, this one might be a little tricky on that one. So rather than trying to cut these lines off and making them the same length I'm taking the wire harness out I mangled that clip taking it off, but that's what holds this wire harness in place. The new one has a different clamp and I managed to get this one off in one piece so I should be able to hold that wire harness in place on the other one. And basically it, uh, I took the wire off, pulled this clip out, and just going to make sure now that uh, this wire harness and this is going to plug back in the same because it looks like it could go any direction here by this. So I kept track of where where this little tab is right here and that tab hooks in that little tab hooks into this which was at the bottom on this one. So this tab here has to line up with this direction where the wires are coming out here. So I just have to keep that in mind. And pull it out. There's a little rubber seal in there. Got the O-ring on there. My tab is also going to go on with the tab facing down. Basically what I've done is completely stripped this thing and I've taken the wire connector out of there. So what I've done here is I've got the old uh, top section. I've put this wire connector back in with a clip facing the direction that it was. And plugged it in right there. I had to snip off the wires for this fuel gauge that came with the other sender and I'm using the fuel gauge that I had on the truck before so I had to cut into the wire there this is the fuel gauge wire that came off the plug and I just tied it into uh, the gauge right here and my ground wire I had to re-solder that right there because it had a tab right there for the ground strap so I just soldered it on where the old one was. I'm gonna put it in the tank and see if we can get this thing fired up today yet. So got all the firing done and I'm gonna give it a little shot of gas here. 
and give it a test start. Somebody can just crank it over here a little bit there just so I can see if it's getting any uh, fuel. Okay, crank it over a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, can you crank again? Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's still not getting any fuel up here. You say 37 miles an hour. Yeah, just got about a month ago. Wow, that's a pretty neat little toy. Off my dad's friend. I can't believe how fast those things go. They huh. just rip. Is that yeah. alcohol that thing runs on then? Or yeah, it's something mixed. Out. I'm not sure what it is. That's pretty cool. That's so neat. <laughs>